The invention of the socket wrench in 1864 put a whole new twist on fastening things. With the socket wrench's ratchet mechanism, the user could tighten bolts in a continuous motion without breaking to refit the wrench to the fastener. It was a real time saver. Modern socket wrenches come with a range of sockets and extensions to handle the nuts and bolts of many different jobs. They start with this coil of thick steel. It travels through a die which straightens it to a knife that slices it into short billets. The machine then drives a series of forming tools into the billets. The tools force them into a socket shape and create the all-important hexagonal opening that matches the profile of the nuts and bolts. To get rid of lingering lubricating oil, the parts go for a tumble through a spiral washer-dryer system. A conveyor delivers them to a computerized cutting tool. It removes sharp edges and sculpts a bevel on the socket's inner rim so it will slide onto bolts more easily. It takes just seconds to improve the socket's profile. Different tools then sculpt the squared opening in the drive end of the socket. That's the part that locks onto the end of the ratchet wrench. A powerful rolling stamp now engraves the part's size and the company name onto it. Once those details are out of the way, it's into a flaming oven to undergo a heat treating process. A rapid cool down follows the heat treatment, hardening the metal. The sockets now toss about in this rotating chamber as they're blasted with very fine steel particles. This cleans and buffs the parts. But there's much more polishing to come. They clamp the sockets onto a rotating table. It delivers the part to a grinding belt for a very vigorous polishing. You can see the difference this makes in the part on the right. But these sockets need to be absolutely flawless. So next, they go into a tub of ceramic stones. They rub mild acid onto the parts to get rid of any small blemishes that remain. The parts then receive a thorough wash and rinse, which prepares them for chrome plating. Now freshly chromed, the sockets look way too nice to be immersed in this brownish stuff. But it's actually a rust-proofing solution to protect them from corrosion. They lock the tub of sockets in a centrifuge machine. It spins the parts to get rid of the excess rust-proofing liquid. And now these sockets are ready to shine on the job. Attachable extensions improve the reach of the socket wrench. Forming equipment swings into action, pressing steel billets into dies to mold them into the rough shape of an extension. After a wash and dry, it's over to a lathe. And, as the extension spins, cutting tools create the squared opening that allows it to be attached to the wrench. Cutters then go to work on the other end. They shape it so it will fit into various sockets and shave the shank to reduce its diameter. Next, a rolling stamp cuts a knurled texture into the socket wrench extension, creating a much less slippery surface to hang on to. They insert a stainless steel spring into a hole formed at the end of the extension. Then scoop up a steel ball so it sits in the cavity above the spring. A machine then press fits it to the extension. This creates a mechanism onto which the sockets attach. It's taken about three days to complete the socket set, but it will equip you to handle jobs of many sizes in just about any tight situation. <laughs>